So I guess I'm getting up. I managed to doze a couple hours. Man, I gotta stop touching my face with dirty hands at work. Anyway. Now, it's the weekend and I don't eat cheese pizzas on the weekend. So, it's no longer actively pissing me off. Because, like, I don't have cheese pizzas on the weekend anyway. But that doesn't clear the current level of pissed off that is still circulating through my system. Man, that pimple's about... Don't touch it more, dumbass. <laughs> maybe, maybe I should get some coffee. Actually, I don't even feel like coffee. Just like yesterday at work, I didn't eat anything. Like, I managed to drink down one protein drink, but I hated it, and I didn't eat anything else because it's like... I'm so fucking angry that I can't get my pizzas that it's like the thought of pit eating anything else just kind of pisses me off. And it's like this, it's like any time I ever want anything, it's like I'm teased by it until I fucking hate it and I just don't want it anymore. And the very thought of wanting it pisses me off. So the coffee's not food, but it's just like in the related category of shit that could possibly tease me because I fucking want it. Even though it's just the most basic shit, it's like, it just pisses me off the thought of drinking coffee or eating anything. Stuff just teases me in life. I just, I wanted, I wanted the pizzas because of their reliability, so they naturally become unreliable, thus destroying their only value. Everything always does that. Motherfucking everything. For instance, women. You know, every time I, like, the thing is, like, this is what pisses me off. Like, there's so many things in this world that are set up. It's like, oh, your problem is that you don't know how to get women, they don't find you interesting, blah, blah, blah. And that's like the whole fucking narrative of the world, the, what would be a guy's problem. I'm a smart person. I'm perceptive. When I talk to women, what they say to me is like, Oh, oh, just tell me lies, Ray. You don't even have to think of the lies. I will give you hints. Extremely motherfucking unsubtle hints for exactly what to tell me. And all of this can be yours, Ray. All you gotta do is take the fucking hints. I'm not subtle with them. That's teasing me. Because if I have to tell you lies, then you are motherfucking worthless. I'm sorry if that sounds misogynistic, but it's true. If I have to fucking lie to you, you are fucking worthless. So, I don't even bother. That's the thing. The thing is, I'm nice to women. I'm courteous to people. The fact that they have nothing to offer me whatsoever is no reason to be rude to them. That said, when they are all interested in me trying to, like, ask me about myself and shit, and, like, or even trying to flirt with me. It's a fucking annoyance because I still have to be nice and I have to extricate myself from that without being rude. And it burns up my brain energy. That is why I avoid women. It's not any kind of like I'm angry with them or I hate them. It's just like it burns my brain energy because there's nothing there for me. And I still have to be nice, even though it's just like I'm fundamentally uninterested in speaking. I mean, not just to women, anybody. It's like men don't take it as personal. If you don't feel like talking, I feel like. My strategy is just sort of like, whenever a woman talks to me, just have the demeanor of somebody who has been roused from their thoughts that they were deeply engrossed in, and then then they can watch me slowly, my mind slowly trying to return to my own thoughts because I'm just like, I'm deep in my own thoughts and it's like, it's nothing personal, I'm just not interested in anything. And that's not really deceptive, it's broadly accurate. So that's, you know, my strategy is just feel what I feel. Anyway, I'm going to go get that coffee.